and amen, where we honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Bienvenido a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, uh, all visitors, and all of you joining us by audio and video. Amen. amen. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. And once again, happy, happy, happy New Year. Amen. Which is one week old. So, amen. Have a happy and prosperous New Year. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And we're going to continue our message with serving Him with passion yeah. this New Year. You know, we do all kinds of things in passion, you know, our jobs, whatever, you know, but still, let's serve Him with passion. Amen. Yes. Whew, hallelujah. I wrote it this way. Serve Him with passion this New Year. Mm -hmm. And not only New Year, but daily. Amen. Daily. Yeah. On a daily basis. Before we get into our message, grab your Bible. Yes. Soldier of God, this is your sword. The Word of God. Amen. Grab it and let's make this declaration. Yeah. Yeah. This is my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I, I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the Word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Ooh. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise God. So get yourselves ready to receive what God has yes. for you. Amen. We're going to continue serving Him with passion this new year, 2023. Amen. Yes. And we can do this. The world does it. So can we. And I've said this many times, but believers, we should be the happiest people in this world. Amen. Amen. Why? Because we know the truth. Yes. If we know the truth, then it's going to set us free from all the mindsets the world tries to put on us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Don't receive it anymore. Whatever mindsets they give you, let them go. Yes. Amen. The past, let it go. Yes. All these sins, let them go. If you can confess them and, and give them to him, the Bible says he's forgiven and forgotten about it. Yes. And we're still carrying it on. You know, we bring it on from year after year after year, you know. We, we should have already forgotten about those things. You know, God wants you to press on and serve Him with passion each and every year. And we don't need that extra weight holding us back. That's it, that's Amen. It. We, we're we're going to press on. When you press on, I mean, you got to take off, you know. We're going on. And that's you, child of God. Amen. Yes. You know, He's called every one of us. Yes. If you're here in this world and this year, then... You should be excited because he's called you. All of us are called. Amen. Amen. And don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. I can do all things through Christ things. who strengthens me. He's my strength. Where do I go? I go to him. Amen. So let me see all these things I wrote here. <laughs> let me see what you got, Carly. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Well, happy new year. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Amen. There's many ways. You know, you can go from point A to point B, from this town to the next town, and there's many side roads going somewhere. And you know what? The world, the enemy is going to see to it that you're distracted by many ways, by many things. Amen. And you'll put them right in front of you. So yeah. you know where you're going. We're pressing on with Jesus. You know, hey, yeah. don't. Don't take your eyes off. Stay focused on him, you know. Yes. And you're going to get there. And this is what it says. He's going to lead you there. Amen. Yeah. He's going to make your, your path straight. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You know, spend time with him before you head out. Uh -huh. Because when you head out without him, all these distractions are going to hit you. Oh, yeah. And what are you going to do? Oh, my God, I forgot to pray. I forgot <laughs> to spend time with him. <laughs> yeah. So let's remember that. Leaving, listen, serve him with passion this year and daily. Leaving the past behind. Leaving the past behind. Amen. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Opening the new year with a bang. We talked about this. you review a little bit. But it says, the world does it, so can we. With excitement, with enthusiasm, with joy, rejoicing and being glad. This is the day the Lord has made. I wrote it this way. This is the year the Lord has made. Yes. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. What they do in New York? What they do in every city? Man, they have big celebrations. They have big parties. You know, say, wow, this is a new year. Praise. They don't say praise God, but we do. <laughs> praise God. Thank you, Lord, for this new year. Thank you. This is the year you have made, and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So remember that. Write that somewhere and, and, and see it every day as you go out. This is the day. This is the year God has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Serving him with passion this year. Believers should be the happiest people in this world. Because we have 
Jesus. And with Jesus, we win. We're on a winning team. Yes. If you've been losing all this time, you know, it's time you join the winning team. Mm -hmm. Everybody watches games and everybody wants to win. Yeah. Not everybody wins, but see, we can join God's team and we be, we are winners. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If you never nobody ever told you this, we fight a defeated foe. Uh -huh. We fight a defeated devil. Why is a defeated devil giving you a hard time? That's it. That's it. Huh? Why is a defeated enemy having triumph over you? If you're a child of God, you should not be defeated. That's it. Amen. You should be pressing on with the things of God, going and, and conquering for God. Amen? Amen. Going and sharing what God wants you to do. And He wants you to do something. He didn't put you here just to be lazy. And we're going to be talking about them little zones, you know, the comfy, comfy zone, <laughs> the lazy zone. Okay, so let's, we'll get there in a few minutes. <laughs> Still, let's take this, I wrote it this way, we're reviewing some. Reviewing some. Is your passion level for the new year hot or cold? Mm -hmm. Huh? Is it high or low? Is it fervent or mediocre? The choice is yours. Yeah. The choice is yours. You got to keep yourself, keep it hot. You know, everybody likes hot coffee. Oh, everybody yeah. likes hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hot coffee. But you got to keep it hot. We got to keep ourselves hot for God. Amen. Amen. And he, he talks about, I'm getting ahead of myself, but he, he tells us to stir ourselves up. Yes, he does. Nobody's going to stir you up. You know, when it's time to go party, when it's time to go to dance, when it's time to go to concert, mm -hmm. when it's time to go do all these worldly things. Man, we get ourselves all stirred up and ready to go. And I'm excited mm -hmm. when it comes to doing God, you know, because nobody shows up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on now. Mm -hmm. All right. We're talking the truth. The truth is going to set you free. Yeah. God wants us to serve Him with passion. Yes. And, and you know, passion is being hot for Him. Yes. Being thirsty for Him. Being hungry for Him. Amen. And we got to do this. Serving and giving it all to Jesus. He gave it all for us, you know. He went to the cross. He was born. He grew. And then He gave Himself up. He surrendered Himself. He gave Himself back to the Father. Amen. But before he gave himself, he told the Father to forgive us. Amen. Praise God he said that. Amen. Even the, the two robbers there, one is still mocking him. And the other one says, you know, Jesus, I know that you're the son of God. That's, this is just me. He says, and he says, I'll receive you right now. He says, today you'll be with me in paradise. He was born right there. He was born again right there. Jesus says, you come here with me. Amen. So some of you watching, some of you listening, you know. You've been hanging out with the world. You've been hanging out, just being down and out, being oh, losers, yeah. man. All this life, you know, wasting time, you know. It's time you turn to the winning team. It's time you come to God. Come back home, just like a prodigal son. Come back to Jesus, you know. All you have to do is just confess, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent coming into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And, man, you start pressing on for him. He put you here. Listen, he called you. He equipped you to be winners, not to be losers. If you're losing, it's not because of him. We got to straighten ourselves out. Look in the mirror, and there's your biggest problem. We got to straighten that out. Amen? We got to straighten that out and, and, and get it right. It's a new year. Let's press on and do, get it all yeah. right. Amen? Yeah. Listen, serving him with passion, serving Jesus, serving and giving it all to Jesus to commit yourself, to surrender yourself totally to him. Let go and let God. Amen. That sounds good, but we have to do it. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Right. You know, when, when God surrendered His Son to come to be sacrificed, He let go. And Jesus took off and He did what He had to do. He's released us to go and do what Amen. we need to do. Yeah. Amen. But we need Him and we need His strength. Yes. Without Him, we lose. That's it. Amen. You're fighting. You know why? Because you're fighting a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. And you're in the physical. Mm -hmm. And you cannot defeat the spiritual in the physical body. That's it. Amen. You got to get in the word and speak the word. Amen. Yeah. But you got to get it in you. Yes. Study to show yourself approved. Amen. You got to study. You got to meditate. You got to get it in you. Renew yeah. your mind to all this. Get all this negative stuff out of you. You know, mm -hmm. all this mindsets that you've heard before. Yeah. Get it out of you, you know, because yeah. the battlefield is the mind. Yes, it is. And that's what the enemy uses a lot, you know. And if you're not renewing your mind to the things of God, guess what? You're going to fall. Mm. 
Come on now. Walk the walk and talk the talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to watch your words and your actions. Because everybody's watching. Mm. Amen. Everybody's watching. To be available to him. Some of us, we don't make ourselves available until we want to go do some worldly thing, you know. Mm. Get yourself, give yourself back to him, you know. Yeah. And make yourself available to him. Lord, here am I, send me. Yeah. We're always waiting for somebody else to volunteer. <laughs> There's a commercial on TV that says, I need a volunteer, and everybody goes and hikes. <laughs> we shouldn't be that way. Man, says, I say, wow, look, Patricia, it looks like, like church. <laughs> we ask for volunteers, and everybody hides. Jesus comes and asks for volunteers, and where did everybody disappear? Everybody's gone. Yeah. No, here am I, Lord, send me, yeah. use me. I can Amen. do, I can go. Amen. Lord. And he's ready. You know, he's looking for a playful person somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody can pray. Somebody can go and do for him. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And he whispers to you, he said, well, God never talks to me. Mm -hmm. Well, you never open the word. Mm -hmm. And you never listen to him because you're too busy with the worldly stuff. Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, the way he's still there pastor him. Mm -hmm. Here's one of our texts. Philippians 3, 12 and 14. New Living Translation says, I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached per a perfection, but I press on mm -hmm. to process that perfection which Christ Jesus first possessed me. Amen. Oh, praise God. Yes. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing. Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Amen. It says I. You can yes. scratch the I and just put your name there. Amen. Right on your Bible. Highlight it, you know, <laughs> underline it. All Amen. these things. I, Jose, pressed on to reach the end of the race and, yeah. and receive the heavenly uh, prize for which God, through Christ, Christ Jesus, is calling us. us. He's calling you, you know. Amen. He's no favor. He has no favorites. You know who his favorite person is? Mm -hmm. You just point yourself and say, mm -hmm. I am God's favorite. Amen. And he's going to send you. And he wants you. So forget about what the world says. You know, you're not yeah. good. You're not qualified. You can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. God says, you can do all things all through things. me. Okay. Amen. So let's remember this. Get all this negative stuff out of the way. Mm -hmm. And start feeding on the word. And yeah. be positive about what the word of God says for you. Keep going. Okay, well, you, you're a new Christian. You're a new believer. A new year. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're a new Christian, a born again Christian. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. Yes. 2 Corinthians 5 17 in the uh, NIV, New International Version. So you're a new creature in Christ. You're the same. Physically, you look the same. Mm -hmm. But spiritually, you were born again. That's, That's it. That's changed. Now yeah. I've got to start. Having a relationship with you. That's Christianity. I'm having a relationship with my Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. We've been hanging out and having a relationship with the world so mm -hmm. much, you know. Mm -hmm. We know everything about the world, mm -hmm. but that ain't going to save you. Jesus saved you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. But you have to receive it. Mm -hmm. And you have to receive that free gift of salvation mm -hmm. by confessing with your mouth. Mm -hmm. Not with somebody else's mouth, mm -hmm. you know. Not with mom, dad, That's or, right. or whatever, right. pastors. But with your mouth, confess him as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's going to forgive you. He's, he, he's, he's going to be your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. Well, if somebody told me that he can't use me anymore, mm -hmm. I've done too, too wrong, too bad, forget about that. Confess what the Word of God says. Yeah. Somebody give you some bad stuff, tell them to give you scripture for it. Is there scripture? Is it in the Word of God? Yeah. Get right with God. You know, he's going to forgive you. And he's going to want you to press on. He says, I press on. Is what he says, I press on. So pressing on means I'm moving on. Yeah. Go forward, not backwards. Mm -hmm. Amen. And sometimes we just get idle. We're talking about last week, we talked about lukewarm. He wants you hot or cold, he says, but not lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't have the world and me at the same time. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to decide who you're going to dance with, me or the world. <laughs> we can't dance together. Keep going. Mm -mm. <sighs> Do not conform any longer to the patterns of the world, but 
be transformed by what? Renewing your mind. Go to Romans 12 and 2. And it tells you to renew your mind. So where's the battlefield? The mind. Amen. You receive positive things. You receive negative things. Amen. So let go of the negative things. And yeah. stay with the positive things. Amen. Amen. But that's what the enemy uses. The battlefield is the mind. You got to renew it so you can stay straight. Amen. And not let distractions come and take you away. Stay hungry. Stay hot for God. That's good. Stay yes, hungry for yes. God. <laughs> this new year. Mm -hmm. And press on. Amen. Keep going. God has big plans for you. To give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. He has big plans for you. He has high hopes for you. Yeah. He has all kinds of big things for you. Yes. And you gotta know that you have to know this. So that you can keep pressing on. Yes. You know when you lose hope, when you lose all everything, you know, is because you no longer press it on. You know, the prodigal son took off. Mm -hmm. And when he found himself with the pigs, mm -hmm. he said, wait a minute, I can do better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've been down and out in this time that you can know that you can do better. Yeah. Because Jesus cleared the way for you. Yes, he did. Amen. And you can come home and start pressing on Amen. and get things right. Amen. And yes. go for the from there. Amen. So let's remember that. Praise Here's where I want to be. Oh, yeah. That's where we are right now. Amen. Beware of, the, of these killers in yeah. 2023. <laughs> There's a lot of killers out there. Yeah. Not just shooting you, but uh, they're shooting you with the words of mouth. Yeah. They, 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 they're killers of dreams. They're yeah. killers of passion. They're killers yeah. of missions. They're killers of motivation, of time, of vision, and goals. Yeah. So beware of these people. And don't let them kill your dreams. I think there's one that, in there that, that talks about... Uh, Keep going, honey. Let me see yeah. how I got it. Why well, I wrote it here. Get rid of passion killers. Things, distractions that rob us of the joy. Jesus came, said, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. But the enemy said, it also says at the beginning, it says the enemy comes, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen? But Jesus says, I come that you might have uh, life. Life and life more abundantly. Wonderful. These distractions that stop us from fulfilling what God has yeah. called us to do. He has called you and equipped you to win and not lose. That's it. If you're losing, it's not because of Him. That's it. If you're losing because you're yeah. away from Him. Yeah. Yeah. And you left Him. That's it. You need to come back home, prodigal son, prodigal daughter. You need to come yeah. home. Amen. And get things yeah. right. Confess it. And you'll forgive and forget. Amen. And you need to say, okay, I can press on now. We got scripture for it. Somebody tells you negative things, bad things about you. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's in the word. If they're not using the scripture, find out yourself from the word what it says. Amen. And not receive it just because they said something. Anybody can say something. Don't let someone who gave up, this is the one I was looking for, it says don't let someone who gave up on their dream talk you out of yours. That's it. There's a lot of people out there like that. Yeah. And they're jealous. And they see you yeah. progressing. And they see you succeeding. Yeah. And they're going to try to stop you because they're jealous. Yeah. I tried it too, but it don't work. You know what? You might as well give up, you know, because it ain't yeah. going to work. I've tried it, I've been there, and it didn't work. And look where I'm at. Press on, child of God. Mm -hmm. Don't let somebody give up on their dream that's stop it. you from your dream. Don't that's let somebody <laughs> that's down and out keep you from your joy. Mm -hmm. Since the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes. So I want to, why do I want to be sad? Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to get myself right and be joyful. The yes. joy of the Lord is your strength. Is your strength. So there's nothing wrong with being joyful. Matter of fact, they make people mad because they see you happy all the time. Yeah. Why are you mm -hmm. happy? Why are you joyful? When they come, then you share with them. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus loves me. Because Jesus is making a way for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can do all things through him. Mm -hmm. Then they can come and join you instead of them pulling you out. Yes. When you let yourself weak and not get yourself in the word, these distractions can stop you. If you let it. 
Amen. If you let it. If you let it. <laughs> so be careful who you pour yourself out to. We can just pour ourselves out to anybody. Do they know what to say? Do they have the scriptures? Do they have the word to encourage you? Or are they just going to say, you know, hey, I don't care what you say. I'm worse than you. How are they going to help you if they're down and out and are not better off than you? Right. You right. know what? A true believer is going to encourage you yeah. and say, press on, child of God, press yeah. on. You can do it. You can make it. Yeah. I've been there. But you know what? That's where your testimony comes in. They were set free by the word of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. By the blood of the Lamb and the word of their mm -hmm. testimony. Amen. And share with them and say, I was there, you know, but God brought me through. Amen. And you can yeah. do the same thing. Yeah. Instead of just saying, wow, well, you know, just give it up. Mm -hmm. You know, it ain't worth fighting for, you know. Mm -hmm. This life, as soon as you die, it's over. Mm -hmm. It's only the beginning. <laughs> mm -hmm. We must learn to stir ourselves up. I use this word, I know, but it says, refire. Oh, yeah. Refire. Keep that fire going. Keep it boiling hot. Amen. Mm -hmm. It says, keep, keep that uh, passion for God going. Don't let it yeah. stop. Who can stop it? Mm -hmm. Only you. Yeah. Amen. Or these distractions that you let them come and stop you. Mm -hmm. Christians never retire. They refire. Yeah. They rekindle. They spark. They ignite. They mm -hmm. light up. You know, their dark world. Yes. My world is not dark anymore. Why? Because that light is glowing from me. Amen. He is my light. Amen. And where there's light, darkness has to go. Yes. Everywhere you go is dark. But when you walk in, light and light it up. Amen. So let's remember that. They stir up. Awaken yourself, you know. And they renew, meaning restart renew your mind with the word god yes. you know restart it over say wait a minute you're going the wrong way mm -hmm. i want to renew myself so i can keep on going for him yes because the world's going to see you uh yeah uh, it's going to try to stop you yeah some of us do and stop serving and that's not right Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have a little story and I'm just going to read it to you. I'm going to just uh, skip a whole lot but tell you about this retiring carpenter. <laughs> and we've heard it before, but still, this retired carpenter, you know, he served this man for so long and he did great jobs for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he did great work. But his friends came to him and says, you know, he finally put in his retirement and the, and the boss says, are you retiring? He says, uh, yes, I am. He says, okay. He says, well, just build me one more house before you retire, okay, please. And his friends came and says, you know what? You've done so much for this man, and he ain't done nothing for you. So you know what? If I was you, I would just do a lousy job. No, boy. Amen. So guess what? He just cut corners. He used cheap materials. He used all kind of cheap stuff and made a mess. It looked nice, but he cut corners and used less materials or less quality materials. Okay, bad material. Okay? And so he let his friends talk him into this. Mm. So when he went to the boss, says, "Well, here it is, boss. Here's the key to the house. You know, you it's yours. You know, thank you. I'm retired." The boss says, "No," he says, "This house is for you, and I just want to say thank you." For all the many faithful years you've served me. Here's your house. I want to give you this house. Yeah. So you know, be careful because we got so-called friends out there. And we're so quick to call people's friends. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. But behind your back, they come, well, they come first and t t tell you about everybody else. Yeah. yeah. But when they leave you, they go talk about you to their other friends. Yeah. <laughs> so beware of who you say, well, these are friends mm -hmm. he listened to the friends and he let the friends he he listened to what the friends had to say mm -hmm. so he said well, you know what you might as well just fix him you know say cut corners use cheap uh materials and forget about it you know that's a good way to pay him back mm -hmm. we can't serve god this way yes, yes. amen we can't serve god this way we just can't do our own thing you know and forget about it 
and make excuses for all kinds of things. Right, right. Amen. He didn't make excuses when he went to the, to the cross. That's it. That's it. Amen. So why are we using excuses? Uh -huh. Amen. This like this uh, carpenter making excuses for doing all this cheap stuff, you know. That's it. And he that was not him, but he allowed friends to talk him into doing cheap work. Right. And guess what? That job, that gift was for him. That house was for him. And the boss gave it back to him. So now what do you say? Wow, I would have done a better job if I knew it was for me. Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. God has done a great job for us. Jesus yes, has yes. done great for us. So we can do great for him. And what does he want us to do? Serve him with passion. Not just halfway, but full, fully, fully passionate for him. Amen. Woo, did you like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we must stop playing church. Yeah. I'm not going to a lot of details, but we must stop playing church. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's a new year. It's time to press on. Mm -hmm. You know, if nobody wants to come, uh, so be it. But I tell you what, <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of family recent soon. And when it's time for me to be in church, I'm not going to say, I got to stay home and entertain my, my family. Mm -hmm. I say, no, family, we're having church. Mm -hmm. You want to go to church? Come with us. If you want to stay here, there's the fridge, there's the stove, there's the TV or whatever. Make yourself at home. But I am going to serve God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's not use excuses. Then. Stop mm -hmm. using excuses. <laughs> but you know, hey, I work all week, so on the weekends I'm off. So guess what? Sat Sunday is a uh, weekend uh, a day of weekend mm. Shoo, hallelujah Rest. stop using him and you heard this so many times stop using him like a spare tire yeah you know that every way you, every way you drive your spare tire is on your truck in a in a, in a safe place everywhere yeah. you go in your car that spare tire is right there and you're okay mm. and that's the way we treat him. Mm -hmm. We're using that spare tire treatment. Yeah. Only yeah. take it out in case of emergency. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. That's the only time we we use him or we think about him and say, "Oh man, I got an emergency. Jesus, I need you again." Yeah. <laughs> but that gets to be all the time. Uh -huh. We shouldn't treat him that way. That's it. It's a new year. We got to treat him and serve him with passion. Amen. Amen. Woo, come on. Praise you still love passion. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah. Thank you. Daily, 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 not just yearly, but daily, we must grow, go for God. We must grow and go for God with passion. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not just Amen. not just yearly, but daily. Yeah. Every day. Spend time with him before you go into the world. Amen. Yeah. Because you know, well, I'm gonna tell you the story about David too, but before you go out, there's giants waiting for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when David went to feed his brothers, brought bringing lunch to his brothers, there was a giant out there. Yeah. And everybody was afraid. Yeah. And everybody was just staying back. They were afraid. Mm -hmm. David went. Man, he's full of God. David said, who is this uncircumcised fellow seen? Mm -hmm. Blasphemy my, my father, my, my God. Mm -hmm. He says, I'll take him down. Man, mm -hmm. let the fight begin. <laughs> yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Listen, we must grow and go go for God with passion. Again, yeah. again, again, with excitement, with yes. enthusiasm, with joy, with uh, uh, rejoicing and being glad. Yeah. When people see you like this, they're going to want what you got. Yeah. But you know, I've also said it many times, you're the closest thing to a Bible. Some people will never see or read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where are you going? Yeah. You're out there going somewhere to happen for God. Being light to this dark world. Being the good news for this bad news world. Yeah. yeah. And you're the closest thing. Because they'll never step into a building like this. That's it. But they'll be around you. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing? What example yeah. are you showing? Are you the closest thing to Jesus they'll ever see? Come on now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> just just let me know and say it again. We come here and assemble ourselves together to be empowered, to be encouraged, not to be entertained. Even churches nowadays, you know, we just want to entertain people mm -hmm. 
so we can get your yeah whatever tithe mm -hmm. finances mm -hmm. you know hey we got a big church well i tell you what you're watching you're listening <laughs> we have a small church but i want you to know we have a small church but we have a big god amen amen the same big amen. god that's in the mega church is the same god yeah. that we serve here that's it. amen so <laughs> little don't mean nothing when amen. you have god in you amen yeah. little means nothing we have the same god thank you amen. and you child of god you have the same god and you can serve him with passion yeah. because he is with you wherever you go amen. you know, he never leaves you nor forsakes you yeah. he's always with you Ooh, come on yeah. <laughs> don't be defeated you'll be a winner a champion for god amen right <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. He will not accept us half-hearted service. Mm -hmm. He will not accept half-hearted service. Or you could say lukewarm. Yeah. Yeah. He said hot or cold, but not lukewarm. Mm -hmm. He don't care for that. So let's not give <laughs> that lukewarm service. Amen. <laughs> he wants all of us. Mm -hmm. He wants us completely committed, totally surrendered to him, sold out. You yes. know, hey. You be sold out to your jobs. Man, you're working yourself to death. But you don't care, you know. You just press it on and press it on and press it on. Mm -hmm. And you can get all the bonuses and all the races. And guess what? You're dropped dead in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And then what? He'll replace you. I'll replace you so easy. Mm -hmm. Just just the body, you know. Hey, we can replace you. No problem. Mm -hmm. But you gave everything to it. Mm -hmm. And you lost your family. You lost your life. You lost everything else. But you was pressing on to please men. This, this new year be God pleasers and not Amen. man pleasers. Amen. Amen. Let's remember that. Yes. Woo! Hallelujah. He Glory wants us. He wants our unwaveringly loyalty. He wants us to be. He wants to be first in your life. Amen. You know, hey, we all have jobs, and guess what? When you have a job, you have top priorities all the time. Yeah. Things to do. But yeah. let's remember, keep God on top priority amen. all the time amen. amen seek you first the kingdom of god his righteousness amen. and all these things shall be added unto you yes he desires to be at the top of our priority list mm. every day every year all the time not just sometimes you know he wants us to hunger for more of him amen you know when you hunger for more of him it's called relationship mm. you'll have a relationship with him it means you know your god and he already knows us but you get to know your God more. And you get to know what all things you can do through him. Amen. I can do all things through him who all strengthens me. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I need to be connected. I need that power source. Yes. Amen. I got the Holy Ghost, man. Mm -hmm. and that's not being a wimp. Man, I got power. Yes. I got strength. Amen. I can do all things through him. All he right. wants his purpose for our lives to be the most important uh, pursuit of our lives. Mm -hmm. The most important thing in your life should be him, amen? amen. Oh, man. <laughs> We're not going to finish again. <laughs> That's all right. We got all this month to just right. talk about all this new year, year coming, amen? <laughs> <laughs> Passion causes disciples. We talked about uh, in the early church. Mm -hmm. You know what they did? They turned their world upside down. Mm -hmm. They fulfilled their mission. Yes, they did. And so can we. Yes. Amen? They were just great examples for us. Jesus was our greatest example. He, yes. from the time he came to the time he went to the cross, yeah. you know, it didn't stop at the cross. Some That's of us right. just finished. That was it for Jesus. No. He went, he was buried, but he rose. And yeah. not only did he rise, he went to heaven. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says he's seated at the right hand of God. Yes. That's a place of authority. And it, not only that, he's interceding for us. Yes. Amen. So, <laughs> that wasn't the end of it. No. Amen. We can do the same thing. Yes. Passion will not allow them to be silent. Mm -hmm. If you're hot for him, you know, you ain't going to be silent for him. Yeah. Passionate believers stay hungry and thirsty for more of him on a daily basis. Not just yearly, but on a daily basis. Yeah. I want more of you. I want more of you. And you know, he wants more of you. He already fully knows you. He wants us to know him. Yes. Amen. Because when you get where you're going, he wants you to know that he is with you. He wants you to know that he's backing you no matter what. Amen. Amen. And when you're full of him, guess what? You're stepping out in faith. Mm -hmm. And you're putting 
faith to your steps mm. instead of fear. Amen. Say, <laughs> I'm not walking in fear anymore. Yeah. And I'm not walking by sight. I'm walking by faith. Yeah. Amen. So, Ooh. hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> when you overflow, his word comes out. Yeah. You get the word in you and you overflow and his word out of your belly shall flow rivers of rivers. living water. Amen. Water. When his word comes out, mm -hmm. you cannot be silent. You're going to say it. And I say, well, I can't. You know, I can't learn the scripture. Hmm. Well, you can stay on that. Yeah. Or you can just read it and read it and read it till yeah. it starts coming, flowing out of you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 18, 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death yeah. and life are in the power of the words you speak. Yes. So why not speak powerful words, mm -hmm. positive words, uh -huh. and not negative words? That's it. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Mm -hmm. The uh, God word translation says the tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love to talk will have to eat their own words. Oh boy. It didn't say the person you spoke to, the, to but it says you have to eat your words. Mm -hmm. You spoke them. It's coming to you. You can have what you say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're going to have it. And you're going to get it. Yeah. Amen. So passion wouldn't allow David to tower down. He heard a giant talking. <laughs> and he's not saying good things about his God. Mm -hmm. He said, wait a minute. I got to put this guy down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shut him. The only way to shut him up. What did he do? He went mm -hmm. as long as we use his... Uh, Slingshot. Slingshot. Yeah. Slung that rock right between his right in his forehead. Mm -hmm. But then he took his sword and chopped his head off. That's a good way to get him to stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a giant sword. <laughs> yeah, he used a giant sword. David didn't have no sword. He all he had was a, a slingshot. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. a little shepherd boy. They gave him a sword and armor. He said no. <laughs> yeah. That's right. King Saul says, "Use my armor." But guess what? Yeah. It was too big for him. Mm -hmm. Saul was a big man. He said, no, I'm going to use what God has equipped me with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he uses a slingshot. Mm -hmm. The little shepherd boy's weapon, that was a slingshot. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, <laughs> he, he, he delivered me from, from, from the bear, from the lion. He says, he'll deliver me from this mm -hmm. uncircumcised Philistine. That's it. You know, and he, he got him good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he knows this, when David arrives, he says, he ran. He yeah. ran to meet the giant. He didn't cower down. And we can do the same thing. You know, things come. Bad things happen. Oh, we have a bad storm. We're having all kinds of things. But guess what? It don't make you want to count down. Mm. Say, well, praise God. You know, hey, mm -hmm. we're, I'm protected. Yeah. Amen. And God is with me. So I'm not going to count down. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, <laughs> says, for, for God has not given us a spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. But what? But a power of love and of a sound mind. So he's not giving us the spirit of fear. If you're walking in fear, that means you got to get some word in you. Mm -hmm. Because when you got the word in you, you're going to step out in faith. Amen. And when faith is in, fear has to go. Yes. Okay, now stay. Let it go. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, passion caused his disciples and really all of us that are in him. To step out and be bolder. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, just a quick uh, Paul and Silas. They were so bold. They started singing at the midnight hour. They just got beaten. Bad. And they was put way in the dungeon. Way down below. Mm -hmm. they, you think they're going to hide from God? Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter where you are. God knows where you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. But they put them way down below. And guess what? They started singing. Come on, child of God. <laughs> Do you start singing when things are going bad? Mm. Amen. Well, that's a good example. Mm. They started singing. And guess what? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus heard them. <laughs> Jesus heard and he shows up. All the cell doors popped open. <laughs> oh, the, man, the, 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 uh, the man in charge there. He was going to kill himself. He said, I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to lose my life, you know, because all these people are going to run out. All these prisoners are running out. He said, no, don't kill yourself. And he got saved. Him and his family got saved after this. Amen? Mm -hmm. But still, 
other prisoners were listening. Mm -hmm. That means they weren't whispering when they were singing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't whisper to people, you know, it's okay for them you to be loud. When people cuss you out, yeah. they're not soft spoken. Right. You know, they let you have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Says Paul is at the midnight hour, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other person has heard. Yes. You know, hey man, they was getting down too. You know, they yeah. like they like the beef. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly there was a great earthquake, and the prison was shaking it to its foundation, and the doors flew open, mm. and the chains of every prisoner fell off. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> That's it. You know what? When you receive Him as Lord and Savior, all them chains that have been holding you back and stopping you are going to fall off. Yeah. Amen. So. In closing, child of God, if you never accepted Christ, I hope you receive something. As a child of God, you know, Amen. I just want to know that God has given himself, Jesus has yeah. given himself for you. So that for you, they have a free gift of salvation. Uh -huh. So it's time for you to come back home. Yeah. Amen. Time for you to come back home. And what do I do? Just repent. Yes. And Lord, I've sinned against you. Come into my night, be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? It's, it's time. Just confess it. Invite him to come be your Lord and Savior. Start living for him. Start studying. Start going to a place, a church where they study the word and teach from the yes. word. Amen. And start growing and going for him. Yeah. He ain't going to hold you down. It's the people. It's the, the world that's going to hold you down. Mm -hmm. But don't let it. Just get full of him and start pressing out in faith. Amen. So praise God. If you have sickness in your body, let it go. Bible says, by Jesus Christ, we are healed. Amen. Yeah, so I'm touching myself. So lay hands on the sick and they shall be come. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm praying on my body. Body line up with the word of God and be healed. Amen. Yes. I, I won't allow sickness. I won't allow no malfunctions in my body. Everything functions to perfection the way God created it to function. Yeah. Amen. Every organ, every muscle, everything in my body to function the way God created it to function. In Jesus' name. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. <laughs> Time to give. Those of you watching, listening, uh, just go to our website, NBC. It should be on your screen, NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfort, Texas, 79843. And now you can give by Cash App and just go to the New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Happy New Year. God loves you and we love you. God bless you.